According to a Weibo post that cites CNN, President Barack Obama recently chided state efforts to enact tougher abortion laws and became the first sitting president to address Planned Parenthood. Now, abortion is a touchy subject in the United States. There's a lot of right-wing, left-wing, conservative, progressive beliefs. People who have different opinions on whether it's right or wrong, whether it should be allowed or banned. And some Americans have taken rather drastic measures to fight against abortion. Now, abortion isn't really that big of a deal in China. Yes, there are abortions in China, but it's on the other end of the spectrum. Now, China suffered, or perhaps suffers, from too much abortion. But firstly, when Chinese Weibo users heard that President Obama was standing up for Planned Parenthood, many were eager to throw in their two cents. Now, some applauded the move as being bold and brave, characteristics of the Obama administration, while others felt that pro-choice should definitely be a part of basic human rights, something that many also hoped will be implemented in China. Let's take a look at some Weibo comments. I never thought Obama would just come out and say it. I thought American presidents avoided touching on really controversial topics. I guess Obama doesn't have to worry about running for another term, so he is not too worried about offending people. Unbelievable! Abortion violates fundamental principles of human rights. I thought the Americans were guards of human rights. Seems like times have changed. This new policy seems to protect the rights of women. When women choose to have an abortion, they have to endure physical as well as psychological pain. What a big move for the Americans. I bet a lot of religious people in America are unhappy with the policy. Obama would never do this if he was still serving his first term. There are too many people that are against abortion. But now he doesn't need to worry about how that might influence his political career. Maybe Obama just wanted to get more female supporters. China's draconian enforcement of the one-child policy has raised human rights concerns in some Western countries, like the United States. However, there are signs that the one-child policy might be coming to an end. According to Reuters, the policy, which was implemented in 1980 alongside reforms that have led to rapid economic expansion, is increasingly being seen as an impediment to growth and the harbinger of social problems. China's current labor force is at about 930 million and is expected to start declining in 2025 at a rate of about 10 million a year. Meanwhile, China's elderly population will hit 360 million by 2030 from about its current level at 200 million. Economists say that the one-child policy is also responsible for China's high savings rate since it takes a lot more money for one child to take care of two elderly parents or four elderly parents if they're married. Expectations by some experts are that China will gradually allow couples to start having two children. However, during a work report by previous Chinese President Hu Jintao to the Communist Party Congress stated that the country will maintain a low birth rate. So how do Weibo users feel about abortion? Is it a moral issue or an economic factor? Well, let's take a look at a few more comments. This shows great respect for human rights. Women should have the freedom to get an abortion if they want it. I know that abortions are prohibited by many Western countries, but I believe in choice. This policy is reasonable. I have always thought that the Obama administration represents the middle class. Many people will welcome and support this policy. Abortion and gun control are policies that are hard to accept for people in the American South. If Obama succeeds in this, he would be remembered as one of the greatest presidents in American history. I agree with the idea that women should be free to choose if they want an abortion or not. But on the other hand, women should be cautious about abortions, which can be very dangerous. Nowadays, accidental pregnancy is really hard to avoid, so abortion should be supported. If not, women will have to ensure more pressures, and this could result in social problems. China currently allows young parents to have more than one child. According to the more lenient policies, if a couple are both the only children of their families, the couple is then allowed to have a second baby. Now, families living in the larger cities tend to keep their families small for economic reasons. However, in rural China, especially in the farming communities, a large family of boys are still preferred.